in this video i'm going to show you how can you connect your cloudflare domain to your go high level account both automatic and manually so make sure that you watch the video till the end because i'm going to show you everything step by step going through both the accounts and setting everything up right so first things first you need to do is you need to get into your uh, go high level sub account right so uh, this domain of adding to a website cannot be done on an agency level so you want to make sure that you are currently in a sub account then let me take myself away uh, so if you just scroll on the left bar side you can see settings so you need to go to the settings section so once you go to the settings section just scroll down and you will be able to see something called as domain just above media there is something called as domains click on domain there cool so now i have a domain right that i have purchased called as ghl template shop.com and i want to add this on my go high level account so that i can connect it to a website or funnel or landing page whatever i want to connect it to right um but how to do that okay so first of all you need to have a account on cloudflare right if you have an account with a domain let's say on hosting uh, on godaddy then i have actually had a video where i showed it to you how can you transfer or basically connect your hosting and cloudflare account to your sorry hosting and godaddy account to your cloudflare account the reason why you want to choose and connect to cloudflare is because this is really secure right and it actually propagates the dns faster than ever uh, compared to other uh, service providers right so you can still have your domain on your respective home accounts like godaddy and hostinger but when you require and when you want to you can just leverage cloudflare's flexibility and high speed by connecting it i've created a uh, you know in-depth step-by-step tutorial i'll make sure that i you know leave the link in the description so that you can check out that first once you have linked it successfully to your cloudflare account then you will be able to see something domains like this right ghltemplature.com preetamhara.com so these are the domains which you have uh, connected here or you can also buy it on cloudflare it depends on what is the use case you currently have but i have already connected my this domain so i'm going to proceed forward and connect it to my uh go high level account okay the first thing i need to do is i'm already in the domains uh section so as you can see on the right hand side there's something called as add so i'm going to click on add and once you click on add you need to just paste your domain so i just want to go back grab my domain let me just grab my domain here cool so this is my domain and here you go right it's also giving me an option to automatically add www what does that mean so ghltemplateshop.com is the domain and whenever you add anything before that whether it's geo dot you know go high level.com or go high level.com or go uh, www or x y and z dot you know freedom .com, whatever it is right in that case it becomes a subdomain right so i want to proceed forward uh by check by checking this on because i also want the subdomain to be added to it so i'm going to press on continue and this is going to be automatic okay so I'm going to press on continue. So it is now setting up the domain directly. It's getting into uh, your Cloudflare and it's going to make sure that it adds all the domain uh, DNS records. So as you can see here, it has detected that it's going to be Cloudflare. Now I need to authorize domain. Make sure that you already are logged in to your Cloudflare account. Without that, you will not be able to do it. Okay. So click on authorize domain. Cool. So now it's asking permission in order to authorize and add these DNS settings. There are two DNS settings basically, which is the A type for your domain and the C name, which is for www, which you need to add, right? So instead of adding all these things manually, it's just asking and authorizing to do it on behalf of you. So let's click on authorize. And as you can see, it's authorizing itself in order to connect it to your uh Cloudflare account. So let's see how it goes. It's probably going to take around 30 seconds to minute, right? Sometimes if it doesn't work, just try again and it should work, right? As you can see here, right, that the domain is now added successfully to your Koha level account. 
Now, what you need to do is you need to link the domain with a funnel, otherwise it would not work, right? So I have a let's say a consulting form website which we created earlier. I'm gonna connect it to the home page. Also, I'm gonna connect the 404 page to its home page or something else, right? Uh home page, right? And then I'm gonna proceed forward and ask it to link it to it so that whenever I type that particular domain, it can directly be redirected to the complete website without having any kind of path. Path means let's say I'm writing the domain and then you have forward slash home, forward slash about us. All those are paths. And in since this is directly connected, I do not want it to have that. Now, as you can see here, it created uh two uh domains. One is the domain and one is the uh, subdomain as you can see here this is uh, a bit details about it which basically says this domain has a regex direct associated with it means this is basically a redirect associated with it so whenever somebody writes www dot you know go higher template.com they're going to go directly uh, redirected to its original domain that you do not really have to have two domains you would only have one domain attached to it and whenever somebody writes www they're going to get redirected as simple as that so let's see if this is going to work or not uh it normally takes an hour or so but with cloudflare it's pretty fast and should be working if it does not we'll just give it some time for this to work and then we'll see what happens right but in this case it literally took a minute or so and it actually worked out very, very well. If you remember, we created this website from scratch uh, on, on the course, which is available. If you're, not, if you're not checked out, make sure you go to the playlist and you will be able to see the five, uh, you know, the four step courses there, right? So this worked out. And as you can see, this is the domain itself. Now I want to proceed forward and show it to you what exactly happens when you write www, since it already has a redirect, you know, what exactly happens in their case so when you write the subdomain as well it again loads the same website however you will be able to see that there is no www in front of it and for the reason is that it got redirected to it okay so this is one way of doing it there's another way of doing it is manually you might be having a domain provider which uh does not support or is not supported by go high level automatic you know uh, methods in that case you have to add it manually i'm just going to show you everything how to do it i'm just going to delete everything from scratch and so whenever you delete this is going to ask you to redirect so i'm just going to delete everything in there so that you don't have any kind of problems so i'm not deleting all the aspects of it so in the in so if you ever think that hey how do i delete it it's pretty straightforward guys so yeah, just delete everything uh, and then let me show it to you how things happen when you do it manually. Also, I wanted to show it to you. I'm very sure that it added all the DNS without that, of course, it won't work. So as you can see here, it added a A name record here, right? And it added a C name record here on the bottom, right? So we don't need this as of now because we're going to do this manually. So I just want to delete the ANM record there. And then I also want to delete the CNAME record there. Just delete it. Well, awesome. So this is now deleted. Let me just go back. Right. So this is again uh, coming back to the GHL template shop.com. Okay, this is also not deleted. Now I'm going to proceed forward and get this done completely manual. Okay. I'm going to click on add. Now I'm going to click on, you know, click on this, right? And then I'm going to click, I'm going to, you can see here, right? Add record manually. So I'm going to click on add record manually. Now it's giving me all the DNS records that I need to add manually to my provider. So you might not be using uh, Cloudflare in that case, you whatever you're using, and if it's not compatible with GoHigh level, do not worry, you can just simply add it. I'm going to show you exactly how. So first is you need to create an A record, right then you have to have host as at the rate and then you have the required value at this right so first is create an a record right name is going to be this one at the rate ip address required value is going to be 34 68 234.4 right 
I'm going to turn off proxy because Go High Level provides SSL certificate, which automatically secures your website and funnels. So you don't need that as of now. I'm going to click on save. So now our a our type got saved. I'm going to proceed forward and add a CNAME record in there. I'm going to click on add filter. Sorry, I'm going to click on add record. And then it's going to be CNAME. Here you have CNAME. Then name required is going to be www. And then flash funnels is going to be the target. And again, I'm going to turn off proxy because as you know, Goha level adds SSL certificate. So we don't need it, guys. Cool. In this case, as you can see, that C name and A name both got added and it was added completely manually. Now uh, we have done everything that is required. You can also watch a video here, by the way. But since you're watching my video, you don't need to watch any other video. So now you need to click on verify records. And it says that it's going to take up 30, 30 seconds, right? If things don't work out, please retry. And that might happen. I've also had a few times when things didn't work out, but I just have to wait for like 30 minutes and then retry it again. And it did work out very well. So we just want to give some time for it to verify the records, which we added manually, and then see what happens. Awesome, guys. So as you can see here, you know, they verified that we have added successfully. The domains are there and the records are also placed properly right now again i'm going to do the same thing i'm going to click on that website uh and then i'm going to add the page and i'm going to add a default page as well and then i'm going to click on link domain right so this again the conda process was done with manually so if you do not have a domain which is not on cloudflare i do not want to add to cloudflare then this is the way to go so yeah that's pretty much it guys i hope that this is going to definitely work let's let's uh close all these things and let's hope that this works uh or it might even take an hour or so if it doesn't work but normally go high level is freaking fast so as you can see here it got the entire website loaded again uh it has a redirect which is now added automatically so sorry about that even if i add now www on top of it right www which is a subdomain even then it's going to redirect to the domain without the www right so i think that's a very nice feature that we do not have to do this anymore manually so that's good there so that's how ladies and gentlemen you add domains and subdomains both automatically and manually if you do not if you want to you know if you have a domain which is not in your cloudflare but you want to connect it to cloudflare to get you know to use all these services or all this fast dns for absolutely free then make sure you watch the video in the bottom section it's going to really help you out right thank you so much for watching this video on my channel make sure you subscribe to it because i'm going to put out great quality content and courses of landing pages and funnels and you know what's coming when you see this domain right so thank you so much. Stay tuned and I'll see you soon.